Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Lighthouse. Welcome. I enjoyed very much our conversation in the office, and uh, it's good to see you again. I look forward to seeing your waiver worked out on a bipartisan basis, and um, very uh, appreciative of the work and comments you've made in the in the past. We've got some important issues on trade to address that affect our workers. We talked about Michigan and both making things and growing things, agriculture, manufacturing, all of our businesses. I have a, uh, a saying, uh, as we talk about trade, that we should export our products, not our jobs. And I, I think uh, that's something that you would agree with. And so I appreciate that very much. I have to say, though, I think you have a very tough job. And I, I want to talk to you about that, because uh, as USTR, you're responsible for coordinating and monitoring and enforcing trade issues, uh, existing trade agreements, future trade agreements. Uh, we in Michigan want a level playing field on trade from intellectual property rights, as the chairman talked about with China, or trade barriers with Japan, or currency manipulation, which you have uh, spoken in the past extensively about. But here's where I am deeply concerned right now. You're out fighting for American workers and businesses if you are confirmed. Um, but your future boss, President Trump, and his family have business interests all over the world. And my constituents and I are very worried about what happens when the interests of American workers and businesses, in terms of enforcing our trade laws, are put at odds with the business interests of our president or his family. I wondered if you might speak about how you stand up for American workers and businesses in that kind of a situation. Well, thank you, Senator. First of all, in all my conversations with the president, I've, had, I've been honored to have several. He, he has, speaks very strongly on, on, in, on enforcement and getting the best possible deals for American workers and American farmers and ranchers. His own business interests are never remotely referred to. I really don't personally know what they are. The president is completely committed to the, to the America first uh, agenda, which I subscribe to and which I believe the senator subscribes to. So I, I mean, I am honored to, to, to have this president nominate me for this job. Uh, and, and I think that, that um, working together, all of us, and, and, and uh, President Trump, we have a, a reasonable likelihood that we can change the paradigm and, and have it be better for, for all of our workers and all of our uh, farmers. And um, I, I've never seen any hint in any way of anything to the contrary. I think his, his motivations are, are um, absolutely spectacular. Well, if I, and I appreciate that very much. Here's my concern, and it's a very real, sincere concern. Um, the president said on day one he would label China a currency manipulator. You've made very strong comments in the past. China engages in currency manipulation. China is by far our biggest trade problem. This is an issue that I've been working on for years, both with China and with Japan and other uh, countries. Uh, we've seen the president say that the grand champion of currency manipulation is China. But then we see on February 24th, Secretary Mnuchin signals the White House is not sure what they're going to do on currency manipulation. But here's the concern that I have on that. Last week, China, after 12 years of court back and forth, with Donald Trump and his family, has given provisional approval in an uncharacteristically swift manner to 38 new trademarks for the Donald J. Trump brand to be put on businesses, construction businesses, all kinds of businesses, all kinds of products in China. And we hear now that it's not clear what our administration is going to do about China. And so, Maybe it has nothing to do with each other. But it is very concerning to me that we would have, in my judgment, a need to be very tough on China and what they have done that has, we've lost 
close to 5 million jobs as a result of currency manipulation and, and related practices in our country, and you know, a good number of those in my state of Michigan. And now we have a situation where the president is benefiting by business deals and new trademarks to put his name on businesses and products in China. How, how do you move forward on that? I mean, does, how do you make those calculations as to what to do? As you have said, and I appreciate uh, very much and agree with the statements you have made in the past about China being a currency manipulator. So what do we do with this? Well, Senator, first of all, in, in the past, it is my judgment that uh, China was a substantial currency manipulator, and I think we've lost a lot of jobs in the United States because of it. And by the way, it's not just China. There are other countries that have done it. As, I agree. As, as you know well and have experience with yes. your, through your constituents. Uh, whether China is manipulating the currency right now to weaken it is another question. So uh, that's up to the Treasury Secretary. So I... I and I, I understand that. I guess my question is, as you move forward in a very tough job, and I believe you are equipped to do that, uh, how do you handle the situation at this point in time where we have business interests in countries, uh, the president, his family, with business interests in countries where we need to be tough on that country in order to protect American jobs? Well, Senator, I don't know anything about the president's businesses or anything about trademarks or anything like that. Would it help you if you did? I mean, in all well, sincerity, there are, there are proposals. Senator Wyden has one that would require uh, making that known. If you knew that, would it make it easier to be able to, from your perspective, you do your job and make sure there wasn't a conflict? Absolutely not. I, I, I don't want to know anything about it. I think that, I, to be honest, with the time I spent with the president, any suggestion at all that he would do anything that's not in the national interest, first, middle, and last, is just not correct. I've, I just, I, I would like, if I could, to, to, to have you and, and the ranking member, whatever things you have to worry about, and, and my job is tough, your job is tougher, to be honest. Your job is tougher, your responsibility is greater. This idea that this president would do anything on toward is so far out of the realm of possibility. Uh, and, I, and I say this, and, and I mean it sincerely, it is an honor for me. This is a person who is completely committed to nothing but helping America and the American workers and farmers and ranchers. It's just... Um, and, and, and I know my time is up, and I yeah, respect and understand. I would just say he promised on day one that China would be a currency manipulator. It is after day one, and that has not happened yet, but other things affecting his business have, and that's deeply concerning to me. Well, All right. let me say, if I could just say, Mr. Chairman, I, I believe that, that if your concern is that the president would somehow not defend America against China because of trademarks, I, I want to, to, to let you be assured that that is not the case. And I would also say that, that I'll bet you, you and I will sit down in your office between now and the time I leave, and you will say, Bob, you were right. He really is going to change the paradigm on China. I believe he's going to change the paradigm on China. And if you look at, at our problems, China is right up there. So um, let me assure the senator. I uh, let me assure the senator. This is not going to be a problem. Thank you, Mr. Pratt. Thank, Thank you, you, Senator Roberts. Mayor.